So today we live in an era where men and women are constantly at odds. If you go on social media and if you go in certain spaces, all you see is the gender war. Now, of course, you know, in real life, people are still getting together. People are still raising families and people are still falling in love. But at least when you go online and when you go into media, you continue to see this tension, right? And a part of this tension is this push to try to blend the genders. And in some cases, this need to try to convince society that women can essentially do whatever men can do and sometimes can actually do better. One area we see this message continuing to be promoted is in the area and the arena of sports. You know, and there's this debate on whether or not trans should be able to enter what that should look like. And there's also been many cases of female athletes who are at the top of their game who have challenged men in sport and combat, again, because they believe that they have what it takes to beat the men. And this was the case for top female boxer, Clarissa Shields. She decided to challenge an unknown male boxer during a sparring match. And what happened uh, actually isn't quite surprising. What we see is that the top female boxer got knocked out by an unknown male boxer during the sparring match. Now, you know, to be clear, this video was from about five years ago and since it was posted, she obviously had some very strong feelings about it. Her position is that this was not a fair match. He removed padding from his gloves and you know, this is why she was knocked out. It wasn't completely fair. Um, you know, obviously the person who posted it has another point of view. So, you know, there's been a bit of back and forth as whether or not this was a fair match. But, you know, really, I think it goes back to a bigger point. Surprise, surprise. Anytime you have a man going against a female, it doesn't matter what the context. It doesn't matter if things are fair or unfair. Uh, nine times out of ten, the man is going to win because he is a man. If it is a person of equal strength, if it is a person of equal um, expertise and even if it's not a person of equal expertise the very nature of him being a man gives him a huge advantage even if you are a professional woman at what you do if you take a man and woman of the same height and weight and dress size and measurements right they've never worked out a day in their life that man naturally will be stronger than the woman why because men naturally have more muscles than women. Women have an extra layer of fat in their body, which allows them to give birth. But this also means naturally that they're not stronger. Not to mention that men have so much more upper body strength naturally, not to mention their hands are a lot stronger, not to mention the testosterone. I mean, <laughs> biologically, the list goes on in the different ways men have a natural advantage. <laughs> like I said, this is not an emotional argument. This is not a religious argument. This is not a personal, this is not a psychological. We're literally looking at science. We're literally looking at the way the human body works and there is no amount of debate there is no amount of ideas or philosophies that can get around the fact that men's default is to be stronger than women period so is it surprising that you have a female athlete who is top of her rank go against a male athlete who was unknown and get knocked out no it's absolutely not surprising and i really think like some of us just kind of have to get over ourselves, get over this whole girl power, she raw energy, and just accept the fact that men are naturally stronger. It doesn't make you any less of a woman. It doesn't mean you still can't be the top of your game. It doesn't mean you still can't play sports, but there is no need to try to put yourself in a losing battle. I'm like, how many more times do I have to see a woman getting knocked out, a woman getting humbled, or a woman just putting herself in a position where she is reminded that she is a woman before us to fully understand Understand. Like, hey, guys, I don't care what they tell you online. I don't care what you've learned in college. I don't care how many different genders or orientations or qualifications a person may have. That's completely up to them how they identify. But the male and female body are not the same.
like I don't like I don't know what else it's gonna take for this to get across in people's brains but um the evidence speaks for itself so really it just comes down to this God made man and woman different um we can argue with this we can try to debate this we can go into college and try to create curriculums to to go against this but all we need is just a little dose of reality to remind us every single day that we're not the same and there's actually nothing wrong with that. Anyways, those are my thoughts. What do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know. Leave your questions, comments, concerns in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening. If you've gotten this far and we'll talk later. Okay. Bye.